so she'll be going into Well, Whiskers just took off the tantalums that were bad, and we've got some new tantalums here. Went over to Circuit Specialist today, and they uh, they were really interested in our project, and they they uh, said, here, just grab what you need and take, bring back what you don't use. And so we've had a little support, and so shout out to Circuit Specialist. Are you stripping all 25 of those boys? Well, how else am I gonna and once we get the new tantalums in, we're going to try and uh, see if we can bring it up slow on the Variac. Right. With a current meter that. this time, so we know we're oh. not overdoing it. Okay, say hi, Addy. Hi. You're and and uh, say hi, Addy. Hi, Addy. <laughs> Addy is uh, making us a, uh, a D25 well. um, adapter cable to go into to go into the uh, Max 232. Into my Coca Cola. Chip that goes into the pie. So Working we'll be able to it. hopefully make, uh, if we get everything booting later, we'll we'll be able to use the Raspberry Pi yep. as the interface. So I'm trying to get two pins, two, three, and seven. Yeah, that's it. Two, three, and seven. And I've got to find out which wires in this nice cluster. I can flip a coin for you. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not going to work. So I'm stripping them a little bit just so I can uh, use the beepy. Right. Multimeter uh, function to figure it out. Okay. Talking about flipping a coin, I have a Then we have Red over here. He's testing the tantalums that we took out. Is it bad, right? Yep. It okay. is an edge short. Okay. On to repair. And every single time, <laughs> the whisker will just be sitting there and he. And he'll just start. We're gonna make a good use of our solder sucker and our <laughs> cordless soldering iron. Actually, I just wanted to What do you think? You like it or you don't like it, Whisker? The portable uh, soldering iron. It's okay, but it's definitely no hako. <laughs> we love our Have the banana shaped no hako. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ready to do our first test. We, the rabbit hole people. we have the traveling rabbit hole hacker space going on. Woohoo! And uh, Whisker just finished putting those new. Well, well I got good zoom. Just house. put those new yellow tantalums in. We're, we're not hooking up that connector right there because that goes to the monitor. Um, but that's the power regulation circuit for the monitor. And that's what's been giving us shorts. We do not measure any more shorts. Uh, we will not hook up any of the other power components of the, of the terminal. Uh, we just want to make sure that that holds. We are going to be smarter tonight. We brought more tools. We brought a Variac so we can bring the AC up slowly. And then my little messed up rig that I have for doing inline current with AC mains hooked up to a Mushi meter and then the Mushi meter will let us see the milliamps on your on your iPhone or iPad um, and we'll be able to back it off before we even see we'll be able to see the milliamps and we can even graph it while we're going and it'll regraph as it goes and but we got 10 fuses so even if we don't succeed at that we still have plenty of fuses so Okay, I think I'm ready, Whisker. If you wanna, if you wanna do it. Do the I will. D. I will focus in on. Let's plug this baby. In. I, uh... <laughs> okay, so what you have to do is you first have to turn on this uh, bypass thing, and that should be zero, right? Yeah, this is at zero. Powers off on Variac. What is this for? For just powering. That, this, that, that this, this powers the pass through. Okay. And then we got to turn on. We got to turn this on, right? Okay. So this is on. The pass through is on. The mushy meter is reading. Okay. And ready for Variac to come up? Yeah. Let me see what I'm getting for footage here. Okay. I'm gonna try and get the camera right there. Okay. And the top, the top is AC um, amps, and it's currently reading zero amps. So I guess you can start turning it up. Okay. Variac is powered. Five, ten volts, twenty. Hundred and ten and no current whatsoever. Okay, so. One twenty. I guess I'm going to measure the voltage then and see if we have voltage at that, at the five, at the fifteen volt rail, right? There you go. Nothing. Check the two orange. We have no voltage there at all. All right, so maybe that fuse just didn't get put in properly. I'm going to drop the voltage down here, kill it. Okay. We got to work backwards on our voltage <laughs> stuff. Oh boy. 
We go on EC. I'm on EC. Yeah. And I got nothing. Got that thing. Well, we're not gonna fix your very are we? That doesn't look good. Well, uh, yeah. that looks pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't look good. That thing's doing. Well, we have what kind? <laughs> Yeah, is, is it going to be enough? So this no, this is a 20 amp fuse in this thing. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. Which is saying something. You blew a 20 amp fuse. Right? I didn't blow a 20 amp fuse. I melted right through it. What was I playing <laughs> with? This definitely did not do that. <laughs> we would have saw smoke if it did. <laughs> I don't even remember. I don't even remember it's having a problem with it. Guess what's it? It's 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 you guys. I'm serious. This doesn't happen to me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all right. This is this is what engineering is. It's <laughs> okay. So totally right. We're back at it again. Uh, first we fixed the camera. Then we fixed that. Now we can fix this. Everything's gone wrong. It's just a mess. Okay, but everything's working now. We're ready to test. Um, we got all the switches on and whiskers is about ready to turn up the voltage and we should see some amps now right, and or smoke there, Todd? right about there. Yeah, I got focus. All right, I'm going to start bringing up the voltage. We 10. won't see voltage, but we should see current here. 20. Okay, we're definitely putting some out. 40. Okay, we're not getting the amps though. 50. Got to get past the forward voltage on that bridge rectifier. 70. Whoa, whoa. 80, 90, 100, 110, about 115. John, you want to see if there's got any voltage coming out of those? You got it on AC? Yeah, you got an AC. He's checking to see if there's any AC. There's no AC. No, we don't have AC over here. Did you guys put the fuse in? Is there a fuse? Is it is the computer turned on? I thought I turned it on. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, so we fixed the camera, we fixed the, the very act. We now figured out we had to plug this in because it wasn't plugged in. Now we're going to power up and see if that regulation circuit works. And we are focusing and I see no amps. Whisker is turning up the Variac. Okay. Oh, we got, we got two milliamps. Or right, ten volts. We got some voltage over, over, we got some voltage over on the fluke over here. We're at two volts on the transformer amp. And... Twenty three. volts. We're got still okay with current. We're three milliamps. Thirty volts. You're up to six. Four millivolts. Forty Seven. volts. Even goal. Eight. Nine. Fifty. Ten volts. Sixty. Half power. Twelve. Thirteen. Seventy. Fourteen. Eight 15. milliamps. Ten. Almost ten milliamps. Ninety volts. Seventeen. Looking promising. 18. 100 volts. What voltage is it supposed to be regulated? That? This, no, be. this is the transformer output. Oh, okay. right. 110. And we're back up to 120, 115, 120. Right, and we got 10 milliamps. And 21 so volts. Like that is better, and nothing popped this time. Ooh. Sounds like it's a regulator. Okay. Success. So we got a part. We got a we got a circuit that's actually functioning now. Alive. Okay, so this is a pop quiz. Yeah. Which pin is the output? <laughs> <laughs> We're still hot. So careful. That one. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna try and check the regulator. It looks like you can. I'm pretty sure you can go to that center tab. You got 14.8 volts DC. That's the output that's of your 15 volt regulator. Good. Nice. You bet. So, yeah. So now, that. Your machine. Yeah. You gutsy. Uh, yeah, sure, I do. You gotta hook everything back together, right? Well, we don't know if the power supply on the other side. We're is just gonna power here. up the CRT. We're leaving the logic off. And so we'll be able to. You can go ahead and turn that all the way back down again, Whisker. Thank you. And then he's going to flip the power and we're going to start going back up again. We should see a lot more current now because that monitor should start to suck some juice, right? Yep. Because it needs that 15 volt rail. 
Yeah, you can put that on the screen too if you want to turn it around. Or you can just... Alrighty. And that's just the output of that transformer, right? Yeah. Yes. And Yeah, okay. if the machine fuse blows, your fluid reading will go away. <laughs> yeah, you're ready. Alright, I'm ready to sweep up. We good? Um, yeah, go ahead. Got four milliamp, four, 20 milliamp, 300 or 30 milliamps, 40 milliamps, 70 milliamps. So we're coming up on 100 milliamps. We got 13, 14 volts, and we're still at 70 milliamps. 80 percent power. That's about right with where the regulator would hold steady given that input. Okay, that should be about normal wall power there. Yeah, we got. We got 21 volts coming out of the transformer AC, and we got uh, no raster. We only got uh, six and no no raster on that, huh? So no screen, huh? Or well, you could turn. He's gonna turn the bright. Be there. I was twiddling that knob, so I don't know. Nothing there. Well, nothing popped. Yeah. Maybe it won't do nothing unless there's other circuits so to tell us. So. take that. Now all this logic, I don't know that I would power the logic at less than yeah. full voltage. So I think we should go straight out the wall now that we've got it. Yeah. This too? Yeah. Okay. I'm filming, go ahead, let's have some smoke. Oh, I heard a beep. Oh, I hear the sound. That's a good sound. <laughs> I hear the sound of I heard I heard a speaker beep. I see no smoke. I hear the sound of the CRT. I'm not hearing that power supply anymore. Yeah, that flyback should be on a little bit. You should whine, yeah. Oh, be careful. Don't put your hands on that. <laughs> There's no voltage here. There's no high voltage at the Still, middle. you know it's high up the there. The air node's down there. <laughs> right down, right down yeah, here. Right here, point at it. Here, give me a screwdriver. I'll point at it for you. <laughs> but it had a nice, healthy beep to it. Yeah. That logic board's probably good. It's, it's probably running. There's just no video. There's still voltage here. Yeah, yeah. 21 volts. What's the 15 oh, rail look like? I'm just gonna say. 14.8 still. Yeah. How about these yeah. power supplies? Did are you they fiddle with any of the? I didn't touch any of them. Well, the these are transformers. Yeah, but the, there's like these are all five volt rails. But that's all logic, so yeah. I wonder if somebody messed with them though. Well, there was no screws in this thing when we got it. Here's you got two. So the V looking one? Here's the high pitch. He hears a high pitch, guys. You hear what? I hear it. I hear it. I could hear it. The high pitch in this. Yeah. Did it start when that got turned on? Yeah. Does that help? Hey, guys. The young people say they heard a high-pitched whine with the when it turned on. So they away. can hear it. No, they oh, still, still hear it. Hear yep, it. it's there. Oh, okay. How I love that. Well. That's awesome. Well, so your next steps are going to be to turn it on and look at, you found the schematics. You, you're going to have a horizontal and a vertical sync signal here. So you think the gun's not flying right up there? That's the cool thing about dogs is that... When it's powered on, you see a little tiny bit of glow at the base. Yeah. The but heater's working, but that doesn't necessarily... It doesn't mean there's sync, it doesn't mean there's high voltage, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Bang the boards. You know that's a metal flash. Right? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's aluminum. It's not aluminum. Hand in your pocket. One hand, yeah. God, I haven't heard that in a long time. Gotta remind you old guys how not to die. Is it on? <laughs> I work on Hammonds, so I work on Hammonds yeah. like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw it. I saw it when I flipped it. Oh, really? Yeah. I see yeah, it. there's one little dot in the middle. Now watch when I turn it off, though. It'll go, it'll, 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 the gun will pull. Boom. Yeah, and it's white. It's a white screen. Nice. So that means we're definitely, it's, it's definitely capable it's not of producing. It's so then you got to find sync in here. Yeah. Horizontal so vertical, right vertical sync. We need a schematic reader. <laughs> the yep. three on the heat sinks are five volts. The one over there with the transistor is 15 volts for the CRT. Mm -hmm. 
And at this point, they all seem to work. Can you find the pin out of this connector that goes to the CRT? He could. Read zero. Just hurts. Right? Frequency? Or you can put a frequency measure. What would you, what's a frequency you would expect? Well, for vertical, probably 60, 60 or 30. 60 yeah, or 30 for vertical. Theory. And then horizontal. 28 times that. Yeah. But I see up. 60 hertz right now, just do 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 do. 9 <laughs> U10. Like picking up from the lights. And where do you want to go? Like from what color do you, what do you think? He said? Yep, in 8. 10, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's inverted Q. 8 and. Ground point? Uh, ground is 14? I don't see ground on the specific schematic here. So that's just one element of that. Uh, I'm betting this. 187.5. Yeah, it went away though. That's odd that it's. 191 hertz. No, that's where volts. Hertz. Oh, you have it on Hertz, I'm sorry. AC Hertz. I'm, I'm used to mine that has Hertz on another <laughs> dial somewhere. Comes and goes. Is it turned down? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nope, 60 Hertz. 59.97 Hertz. So that's vertical. Yep. So where's horizontal? The uh, next chip over? U10 and pin 6. Sixteen point one nine two kilohertz. That sounds about right for twenty-four lines. Right? It'd be twenty-four times sixty. Mm -hmm. So then the problem is actually up in here then. Well it, it's starting to look that way. Can you tell where intensity is coming from? Uh, I haven't found that. Yet. Yeah, you're right. See if it's actually making it out that connector though, not just the pin on the chip. That's true. Turn it back now. Apparently, oh, no, eight and nine on the molex. I don't know how that's numbered though. <laughs> Seven. Have to get up, have nine is shower. vertical. Yeah, Forty-five minute minutes. drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except one hundred and one is closed. Why? Well, there's the sixty. So you got to go over to fifty-one and back. So yeah, you're probably doing an hour. Yeah, and there's the sixteen kilohertz. So. All we know is the monitor is producing high voltage so it can make a dot a faster. Because yeah. right. this is making horizontal and vertical sync, but it's only making a dot, a non-moving dot. Right. Which means the sync is not Going in creating the, the sawtooth waves that scan the beam back. Well, here's a question. If it wasn't doing vertical and horizontal sync to the tube, but the tube was getting high voltage, wouldn't it still put a dot in the center? Sure, it's right dot in the middle of the screen. Sure. It's not doing that. Until we turn it off. Why when we turn it off does it burst like that? No, it has a dot when you first turn it on, and then it's not there, and then it has the line when you turn it off. Right. And so it's that's losing power, and it's just the beam is just going wherever it wants. No. Yeah, if it makes the dot when you turn it on. It's firing at that what point. It might be happening it's when you turn it on, the dot comes on in the middle, and then whatever circuitry it has is pulling it to the corner. Or but it's intensity not is, is dropping grounded, down. which means it tur turns off the beam. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, it could be pulling that beam off outside of where the phosphors are visible oh, on the yeah. front. It could be way out in the corner. Mm -hmm. Which is why it could also just be dialing in the knobs. Because if they got all yanked one way. Yeah, if somebody other, screwed those those adjustments up. Well, we can know where they are and just turn them, can't we? Mm -hmm. Huh. I'm actually next to North Scottsdale, but I'm in Phoenix proper, even though I'm uh, okay. right next to North Scottsdale. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, just an update on the data connector. Uh, Addy made up this braided thing that we can go to the Pi, um, the uh, Max 232. For the Raspberry Pi, and then that just pulls out of there, um, but it's, it's wired up for that. We know that the uh, CRT is good, and we know that the high voltage and the flyback are all good because we do get the gun is warming up right now, and yeah, there it is. Ooh. Now we, we in order to get it to even show up, we saw that it was we saw that that was just it's blinking like a cursor. Oh, you're doing that. <laughs> He's dirty, dirty pot. Dirty pot. Dirty contrast pot. Yeah, he taps on it and that thing goes, go ahead and blink, go ahead and do that, yeah.
Just tapping look, on that clock. We've got a cursor. <laughs> it blinks. It, just don't Take quit three. pushing that button. But when we we were watching and we could see it power up, and then as long as the gun was hot, as long as the it was on for a while, when we turn it on and turn it back, turn it off, turn it back on, it would see that we'd see the ra roster just go up and off the screen. So he turned a pot um, inside and it brought it back down. But we don't really think that it's doing anything because with that uh, loop back in the back I just showed you, it should have looped back the keys as we press them. We should see that coming back and we didn't. So that means that. Uh, even though we're getting something on the screen, it's not uh, it's not fully functional. But it is a starting point. We know some is good and some is bad. But that's it. So I guess we can say bye, John. Thanks. Anytime. And uh, whiskers. Yeah, I want to see the rest of this video when you finish it, Todd. So <laughs> I will see it work. Yes. Yeah. I will. I will make it priority because I want to put this right beside my Apple II and my Commodore 64. I got my own little working museum. museum. And Addy, say bye. Bye. Or hi. <laughs> <laughs> bye.